Hey everybody, Joy here. It is Thursday, April. Can you believe it's April? Oh my gosh, and I have a Band-Aid on my finger. April 5th, 2018. And I have a Band-Aid on my finger because I was trying on my new, 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 new blouse. You ladies that have always said to me you need to make your blouses longer, I have made two blouses <laughs> as long as the top I'm wearing. And I actually really love them. But anyway, I had this on earlier today. You can see it's got the pins in it. And I decided, while I had this on, I was putting the pins to see where the buttons were going to go, that I would pick up the laundry and take it because we're going to be leaving town tomorrow. So I picked up the laundry and I held it in my arms and I walked to the laundry room and I went like this to drop the laundry in the washing machine. <laughs> And one of the pins grabbed my finger for about half an inch and ripped it. Oh my goodness. And so I've got this one that's longer. And I've got this one, remember, that's going to match my new Brighton purse. My new turquoise Brighton purse. This one just needs its sleeves in it and then it's done. So this fabric feels like cardboard. I am going to try Peggy's. Uh, you know Peggy Sager, she says... If you'll throw something in the wash with a can of Coke, it'll make it soft. So I'm going to try washing this with a can of Coke. But look at these cute buttons I found for it. I'm hoping they aren't too big. But you know, my Brighton purse has all of those silver hearts and silver doodads. Let me see if I can get it so you can see it. I don't know. I know my wrinkles look up, show up really good when I get this close. <laughs> I'm like, I'm never making another video. <laughs> anyway, let me show them to you like this. Maybe you can see them. See? Hearts. And so I thought those would be key buttons. <clears throat> of course, you know, I'll, I've already been using my purse with everything. I don't know why I think I have to have a blouse that matches it. But let me see. Whose idea was that? Margaret's. <laughs> And one lady said, I don't like the blue collar, but I like you. <laughs> so... I actually am not crazy about the blue collar either, you guys, but when you don't have enough material, you have to improvise. I have new fabric. This is going to be my new one. Let me show you it. I'm making another blouse just like this. I have plenty of fabric, but look at what I found. A flaw in it. I'm telling you guys, you really need to check fabric. There was a whole new bolt of this. It's some kind of a knit crepe. It's beautiful. At Joann's. And so I brought the bolt over to the table, and as she unrolled it, there was flaw after flaw after flaw after flaw after flaw the whole way down the roll. So the sweet girl found another partial roll. <clears throat> All this had left on it was two and a half yards. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> See, y'all won't let me drink my coffee, and now I have a frog in my throat. <laughs> but anyway, these are going to be the buttons for this. It's an off-white and it's really pretty. But I'm going home tomorrow, so that won't get made till I get back to my other house. So, I got a call at 4 o'clock in the morning. Phyllis warned me about that. She said they'll call you all hours of the night, especially if they don't like you. <laughs> but, I mean, it's the very first call I've had, and I've been gone three weeks. But Mother fell in the middle of the night somehow and cut her elbow open. And they came into her room and found her sitting by her bed with a washcloth with her elbow bleeding into it. So they called the hospice, and the hospice came, and they bandaged her up. And she's okay, probably going to be pretty sore. But I am so glad I'm going home tomorrow so I can see my mom. They told me all the crazy things. I talked to the director of nursing, and she told me <laughs> the funniest things. Of course, these funny things happened all the time. That is the one true blessing of taking care of someone with dementia. They just keep you laughing all the time. And so, uh, Mother used to tell people that when she went to high school, she took a course in nursing. And she said, after she took that one course, she decided right away she didn't want to be a nurse, so she changed her mind to be a secretary. So, she would always tell everybody that came there, you know, I have a course in nursing. <laughs> so, I don't know what night it was, but the director of nursing was there till 8 o'clock. She's supposed to get off at 5. She was there at 8 o'clock because of my mom. And um, 
my mother had gone through all her underwear. That's one thing I'm taking. I brought, got a whole bunch more underwear and clothes and my mom's painting from this house because she had a room here, you know, and I'm taking it there. But um, she ran out of underwear, and so the director of nursing was doing the laundry for mother. And she took mom's stuff and she put it in the washing machine. Well, then... The direct, her name's Linda. Linda had to be on the um, in the dining room because the other girls had gone or they had to do something else or something. And Linda had to be there till the people got finished eating in case one of them choked. So anyway, Mom came out looking for her laundry. <laughs> and she went into the dining room and found Linda. And she said, why aren't you finishing my wash? And Linda said, well, I have to stay here in the dining room and watch these people. She said, one of them might choke, and I need to be here to help them if that happens. And Mother said, well, I'm a nurse. I'll stay here and watch them. You go get my laundry done. <laughs> and then Linda said, I discovered that your mother keeps Kleenex in her pockets. Oh, yes. I told him about that. We go through cleaning, my mother and I. My gosh. Daddy used to say, I need to buy stock in the Kleenex company. <laughs> Only we use puffs now. But anyway, she stuffs her pockets every day. You have to have pants with pockets. And she puts tissues in both sides, both of her pockets. And so Linda was doing her wash. And when the wash came out, there was all these shredded up Kleenex. And so Linda was having to get all the Kleenex and throw it in the trash and separate it from the pants and, you know, get mom's wash done. So she said she finally got done with my mother at 8 o'clock. And she left the place to go meet her husband at IHOP for dinner. And she got in there and she sat down at the table and her husband said, what is that in your hair? She said, I don't know, what is it? She said, I guess she got out of the mirror and went in the bathroom. And she had Kleenex in her hair. I said, I warned you people. So anyway, I'm so anxious to go back there and feel kind of like it's sort of my home too now. So I'm so anxious to go back there and see my mom. She said, oh, your mom says sometimes, why did Joy put me here? <laughs> so at least she remembers who I am and she remembers I put her there. <laughs> and so that's not what I'm here to tell you. I just wanted to tell you an update on mom. And I will, so we're going home tomorrow morning. And so if it's not pouring rain like it's supposed to be and 100 mile an hour winds like it is today, I'll go see her tomorrow. But otherwise, I'll wait till Saturday and I'll go spend several hours with her. So, I've got to finish my two blouses, which I already showed you. i got to pack everything up, put everything away, finish the laundry, wait for Jerry to get back with his boat parts. He's gone to Bass Pro. My husband is majorly OCD, but not like the girls in the paper this morning. We're not OCD like that. Not 10 hour showers and not wash your hands for 30 minutes. <laughs> but he hates things that are crooked. I always say, why did you marry me? See, if I stand up straight, I kind of go downhill like a slide. <laughs> That's why I always <laughs> fold my left leg because it's longer than my right leg. So I said, why did you marry a crooked lady? <laughs> But there's some place in his boat that's one inch off. And he called the people that made his boat and said, I want this fixed. It's under warranty. They said, too bad, so sad. We don't care. That's not bad enough. So Jerry sorted the carpet and the materials and the straps and the, I don't know, all the different kinds of things because he's going to take the boat apart and fix it himself. I mean, it's a major repair. So um, he's gone to Bass Pro to get that. So he'll be back pretty soon. And um, then he's got his doctor appointment this afternoon. And I'm going to get everything all packed up. We're leaving town in the morning. I'm so excited. I'm excited to see Terra Bear, who may or may not be home. And I miss my three kitties. And, of course, I miss my mom. So I'll keep you all posted on what's new. And remember, this house, I can upload this video I just made in like 10 minutes. At my other house, it takes 10 hours. So this will probably be the last video you have, like, close together to the last video I made for a while. <laughs> So anyway, bye for now.